with three. Uh, here we go with part three, and um, now we're going to look at um, more advanced ways of taking bookings. Now, the booking screen so far has looked fairly simple. Um, we're able to take bookings, um, so let's do our. Uh, let's click in the and get some focus. Let's go for our Finchway again. I'm going to uh, Toxteth, um, and it's for Bill. But this time, rather than just hitting the end key, I'm going to press the enter key, and this brings up an additional uh, extended menu. And here we're able to um, do various things um, that we might want to do with this job. Now, we can go directly to these uh, various options by simply pressing the function keys across the top of the keyboard. But let's say, uh, for now, we want an estate car on this job. Um, just press the Enter, and here we've got the options available to this company. And I want an estate car, so just highlight the estate, press the Enter, and we have it uh, set for an estate car. Now, the various options we've got down here, we can run up and down. We might want to comment, um, uh, has a big dog. Yeah, that's cool. Um, we can make it an account job. I, I'm not sure whether there's any accounts set up on here. Oh, what was that? I saw something then. Um, yeah, we can... Um, we can choose an account job. Um, we can even define a car number. If I mean, this is not normal to uh, put car numbers on, but uh, let's say we did want a car, we can say, yes, we want to nominate car three, because we don't need to do this, but it uh, is an estate car. Um, right, uh, various options on the F11 key. We can make the job urgent. Uh, in the event, let's say it was... Um, um, uh, this job was running late and um, it was a, a railway uh, station pickup, so uh, we, we might want to give it a little bit more priority. And we can do that just by pressing the, 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 the highlighted letter, U, uh, unhighlight it by pressing it again. And um, it's much the same with wait and return, text and ring back. Um, text and ring back is normally done automatically, uh, but some companies prefer to uh, have it uh, done this way. We can, uh, under normal circumstances, all the jobs go out totally automatically, but we can nominate, um, pressing the M key, we can say, mark this job for manual dispatch, and it will not go out on auto. Um, it will be held until the uh, the dispatcher decides that uh, it's going to be going out. Uh, the fixed price, we can, um, we can nominate a, a fixed price, and uh, that information will go through to the car, etc. Um, coming down, uh, multiple cars. If it's if the customer required um, two or more cars, we can simply enter how many vehicles are required on there. The allowance time. This is normally um, not required because all the allowance times are calculated automatically for each area. But there are times when, um, for example, if it was a Heathrow Airport pickup, uh, which is probably. 200 miles from here. At 3 o'clock in the morning, uh, we don't really rely on the computer to work out how long it's going to take at 3 o'clock in the morning. So you, you might decide for Heathrow at 3 o'clock in the morning, I want to enter an allowance time of 3 hours. But it's you can enter this here. We have a facility for regular bookings. Um, we'll go into that a little bit later. Um, and we've also got the facility of putting various notes onto the job if it's a little bit too long-winded. Okay, these are the extended options. Now what we do, we press the end key to come off the extended menu and we press the end key again to take the booking. Now you can see the booking has come down here and it's highlighted in green, indicating it's, uh, uh, it's an account job. Now, you can't see, but further across the screen here, just off your screen, it's marked for car three, and it says it's an estate car. Right, so um, that's a little bit on the extended menu. Other things that 
but um, of note, uh, another common one is the multiple pickup. Now, uh, the, we can do multiple pickups or multiple drop-offs. And what we do, uh, if we know it's going to be a multiple pickup, we can just press Alt and M at any time. And we're going to make this a multiple pickup. So we'll have our two finch way again, which we're quite partial to. We'll have 45 uh, Greystone Road and uh, 72 Dovecot Place. When we've, when we've got all the pickups, we just press enter on a blank line and the first pickup to Finch Way appears uh, back in the, uh, the pickup. Where's it going to? Uh, can be going to anywhere. We'll have it going to um, Bellvale uh, for Bill. End. Now you can see, uh, hopefully, uh, down here, um, we've got the, uh, it's two minutes, uh, it's due in two minutes, and we've got a little M at the side of it, um, indicating it's a multiple pickup. That's about it for now, uh, for lesson three, and we'll look a little bit more at some more options uh, in the next lesson. Okay, cheers for now.